Alan Sherr. It doesn't get old for us watching some of She's Sensational's outstanding performances, Al, and I'm sure it doesn't get old for you. Uh, compliments of the season to you. Same to you, Greg. Yeah, they're, they're good memories. We just, um, hopefully this little girl can get half as good as her, you know. Well, you're starting to relive uh, some of those already with her. She's been very good thus far, this four-year-old mare. She just took a little bit of time, Alan, is that fair to say? Yeah, she was ready to go as a three-year-old, and uh, I thought I'd get black type, and unfortunately she suffered uh, an injury, and, and it just set us back six months, and we lost our three-year-old season. But it, it could end up a blessing in disguise, too. She's starting to mature now, and um, we might have a fully matured product next year, you know? Look, what she's done so far, Alan, we're having a look at uh, this performance at Awapuni, and of course, uh, she was really good this day. She absolutely bolted in. Expectations around uh, this day to today, are you as confident, and is she as well? Yeah, I think I think she's every bit as well. Every grade gets a little bit tougher, Greg, but, you know, the way she's won her two races sitting three wide, uh, not many ponies can do that. And, um, yeah, if she gets half a run in the race, she's got to be the hardest to beat. She could end up a very special mare. What have you got planned for her, if anything, at this stage, or is it just a case of taking her through her grades and, and probably getting her race tractability a little bit more solid? Yeah, she's still got to learn the game. Um, I, I'm sort of thinking if she won today, I might have a crack at the Juro Cup on the minimum. It's a good horse's race. She'll, she'll have a crack at black type sometime in this season, but I don't really want to push the button until next year. So I'm a little bit guarded at this stage where I go and what I do, but um, she's progressing really, really well at, at this stage. Yeah, given what Mum was able to achieve, um, is she showing you indications she'll get out a fair way distance-wise? Yeah, she'll get a mile and a half. Um, you know, she's sort of a mare that... I've got fresh legs in her today and she'll need that at 1,400 metres. She was probably looking for a mile when she won her last start, but I've backed off her for a month and she'll go at Bonnie 1,400 and they'll know she's there. But ultimately she's a 2,000 metre mare and um, next year you'll see her at best at, at that distance, you know. Well, someone's plonked 20,000 on her at $2.70. She's now into 220, so that's a challenge and a fair bit of weight on her back. And also, one T Kemp's involved in the ownership. What's he like as an owner? Um, yeah, he's quite amusing, actually, Greg. You know him personally. He's um, he's normally the one that puts the Jonah on the horses and stops them from running, but he can't stop this one. So, um, and he couldn't stop Coey either. So, no, he's a good boy to have on board, mate. And he's flying down with Bruce today. So. Yeah, we're hoping we get a good result and we have a good night tonight. Yep, I'm picking you'll have uh, regardless. That's the first of your runners in. Alan, let's have a look at, uh, you've got three in, of course, and uh, Mars Bars uh, is the next to have a look at. Sam Collett doing the riding. $9 the price about Mars Bars. Uh, Blonde Lines had uh, its measure recently, $4.60. The favourite hanger, Leith Innes. Uh, inside draw, fresh up uh, for the uh, Roger James uh, Welford team, of course. And um, Where do you assess Mars Bars' chances today in the fifth? I've just got a funny feeling, Greg, that the, the firm track may take the glint out of her. She'll probably run today and have a month off and come back for the autumn. She'll be she'll be competitive, but it's ended up a very, very good 82 field, so she'll need a very good run in the race to, to be a place-bearing position. We're just having a look at uh, her most recent performance, Alan, finishing in third blonde line. Uh, is dead set flying at the moment, four in a row. Jonathan Parks, who is the favourite for the Jockeys Challenge there, uh, has the ride once again. And $4.60, I'm sure the people looking at that form line may even be interested in having a crack there. Uh, last year, runners, uh, Alan, in today is hoist again, Sam Collett, to do the riding. Uh, first up run, uh, tell me about your assessment of that, finishing in fifth position. From a quote of six fifty into $5.50, uh, good gate, fifteen fifty dead four. There looks to be a lot of ticks there, Al. Yeah, I just think he's, um, he's probably at good odds in the last. Had a jump out last Friday I think it was and he was he didn't win it but he was under a stranglehold we had a little bit of a problem with a lung infection we've cleared that up and um, yeah I'm thinking he's a strong each way chance in the last from a good barrier with a tidy jockey on 
We're just having a look at the latest performance of the son of Raise the Flag and uh, this was of course at Tarapa. Not an easy track to come from as far back but he did a pretty good job of it Alan. Yeah, and he said three wide the trip that day, Greg, so there was more merit to that run than, than probably viewers see. So, yeah, I, th I think he's going to present pretty well today. Alan, you got the three runners in. Logic would suggest that Cinerama is the best of those. Now, at a quote of $2.20, is getting pretty skinny. Uh, is she by far and away the best, though? Yeah, she is, mate. Yeah, she's um, got the pedigree, got the temperament, and she's got the form. So, um, yeah, she's got a few ticks. But um, I wouldn't rule the horse out in the last. He's a strong each-way chance.